Magic Sword i sidste øvning. Du der, Grim Dark Namor, Gullibar. Because his story is not as well want. Right, the artists in the industry but it's a Jamaican story. Best you could say. Right, it's a worldwide story about the Jamaicans and the Dismal Wild One, the rest of the world. But that's something I would know, say. Right. No Jamaicans right. need to observe the life of Gulliver. Right. Beyond the surface of him just being a DJ and living at the Gullian, there's so much more to the Gullibach story. His EP was called From Rocks to Riches. Well, I'm going to call that one. Uh, the Gullibop story. From rags to riches to rags again. While we're talking about death, since the Gullibop has passed, we have three birthdays short on. Right, so we have to celebrate life. First one goes out to Lacian, Patreon, from August 2020. The birthday was actually Saturday, but as you can recall, I didn't just have a Saturday. But yes, I don't know me anything earlier. Don't even have to explain it. I know that all the time. And so, hope you had a great day. Right. Big up yourself, more life. Right. Genuine, genuine Patreon squad. We have some people in the Patreon squad that freeze more time. Yes, and all the people. So, yes, and big up yourself. Right. Next. We have Empress Alicia. Right. This one is coming out from you know, your hobby, right. your fried dumpling, your bunununus, Rasta vibes. Right. Into a YouTuber. Right. Shout out the Empress. You know. right. Empress, big up yourself. I mean, what's about now? You must see every video. Because Rasta vibes are true, me into every video. Right. And I mean, what's say. Alright, your good daughter tell him, say, I can't turn down that now, man. Every day, me here to look at you too. Right. Empress, big up yourself, live long and prosper. Seen, Rasta vibes, you don't know our thing already. Big up yourself, bro. Last but not least, a new soldier to the Patreon squad. Right. Brand new recruit, right. not even a month yet. Right. Mikhail. Right. Mikhail, I tell me, say, I'm a one years old. No, you say, but look at you, but I'm one years old and I message you. You have to do the unicorn match. Remember, say, them say, life begins at 40. Right. So if Mikkel right, tell me, me, I'm just alright, you are one years old and life begins at 40, then you don't know what that means already. You don't know the real age. So, Mikkel, pick up yourself. Right. Welcome to the Patreon squad, bro. Right. Don't take birthdays for granted. Don't take right, any day off my earth for granted. We can move into the video. Think now, you don't want to like, it's like all the five things I learned about the earthquake. I'm going to start with one and more, you know, five or six or whatever more things you learn from. So. But these are five things where you pick up, right, come to mind most when time I see what happened to go back. I could reason now. Enough time people say, look at you, but I miss, I miss some of the videos that I used to do. My all about the, you know, the 10 questions we need for us. So I didn't be there. Five things I learned. And everybody must learn from what happened. The Golly Bob story. Number one. Talent can't be buried for too long. Eventually it must pop up. Even if I know one gully, the talent there, it will pop up its head. Eventually. Now when it pop up its head, right, you also need right, other people to spot it. Because when it pop up, right, you know say, right, so it, well in our day and age, it will catch one camera and then go around and go around and go around. Talent can't be buried. It's like a youth, we can run fast. Make your way, man. Right? You just need to turn up on one track there and beat everybody. And then people start talking about him and then the, the scouts start looking for him. And same thing applies to football or something like that. So talent can't be buried. Right? They have a pop up its head. Now, after it pop up, it might go back down. Right? After it pop up, right, it might you know, not you know, live up to its full potential. 
but it will pop up eventually. Right. If talent there, somebody will go smart it. Now, we know how good about boss already. I mean, let's be honest, so we know so that the music industry, fastest way for boss, generally speaking, is usually something more involved, either slapness or badness. Right? That's just the culture. But nevertheless, it still takes talent to do. Talent will pop up eventually. Second thing, knowledge is more important than money. This is something I have about for a very long time. Our man culture is obsessed with money. Just give them money. Just give him money. Money without knowledge. Without your knowledge or knowledge and people around you, that means nothing. This is how the world works. Go study it. Most lottery winners end up broke. Last me look, now on Christian Place it was like 70%. All people feel win 50, 60, 70, 100 million dollars and end up at broke. Without the right knowledge, if you know if you do with that money, we all have the people them around you with the knowledge, we self destruct. If you see a crackhead on the street, you know what's corner. And you go to go give him one billion dollars with a charity, that's not charity. You're helping that crackhead dead for us. Until that person get their mind in the right space, get them knowledge in the right space, and get the right people around them, that money will kill them for us. Real charity is not just giving people money. If they can't manage it, they'll end up back exactly where they started and worse off. How much sports stars, how much artists, how much actors you see reach the height of fame, wealth and popularity and then you see them and all you are feel sorry for them. You are who you are, money make it amplify. Without the knowledge, without sorting out the mental side, without sorting out the headspace, without having the right people around you. Trust me, money do I mean nothing. Right. One day you'll never eventually realize that. Right. That man needed either the knowledge himself, which he clearly never have, and when that not happen, then if the people them around you were truly rich and care about you, right, if them know, right, start acting as your crutch. But your knowledge is most important because when you're relying on people to be your crutch, when that crutch is acidic, or wicked, or greedy, then that crutch will be pulled from under you. Third thing, fame is a double-edged sword. Fame is a double-edged sword. Fame is a double-edged sword. Yes, you get to walk on and people be like, oh look who it is. I'm a DJ, I'm an artist, I'm a general. But if you don't know what you're doing, you will kill your father. Now, your favorite celebrities are depressed. I'm a junkie. They're on the diet coke. They're on all kind of hard substance. You ever know I go on behind closed doors? You see a bad mind artist? I don't envy nobody for fame. Gullibop rise to stardom. In my opinion, accelerated his demise. When somebody takes sick, only if you know how important right, stress is to your overall health. This is stress and depression. Them thing they make you sicker. And if you're not sick, it make you sick. And if you're sick, it make you sicker. And if you're sicker, it make you the sickest. You see, when you have nothing, when you don't have nothing at all, you can just go through life. Half of the beer minimum. You eat where you can eat and take where you can get. But your mind has been conditioned to not having nothing. So if you're just used to eating right, two finger banana right, and little right, salt mackerel, you will find in them that the whole of your life are alright. But you see when you go taste lobster, you see when you go taste ox tail, you see when you go taste Right. What is the name of them? Caviar. 
You see when you go taste them something there? And then you go back to only can eat. Now you go back to one finger of banana and even less salt mackerel. All of a sudden the banana and the taste was nice. All of a sudden the salt mackerel and the taste. Remember you were getting along. Enough people were happy and content right, with white rice and tin mackerel. It's sweet. tastes nice. And they might eat that right through. When we are youth, we never understand poverty until we grow up because at the time when we are youth, everything we are eating is good. When we grow up, we realize that the poor people food this, we never know. When we are youth, we never know that the food is nice. When we get introduced to the ox tail, the lamb, yes. all of a sudden your taste buds change now. I know certain things. And taste this, and when you go back, to the same white rice and tin mac will the same dumpling and butter where they love back in the day all of a sudden you feel worse why because in comparison to where they eat it's a comparison it's one of the most dangerous things it's when, you, it's when your brain can't compare it's like you give somebody a bicycle and they ride go work and then glad so they can ride go work. But then they go start get a drive go work. And the sun now burn them and the rain now wet them and them in the AC. It's so when they have to go back go ride on the bike to go work, they are depressed. Because them brain now compare the two. And I can listen to him. So gully bop, the gully bop is staying at the gully. Right through, I think Golibap would have been in better health. But Golibap tasted fame, unfortunately, it's a little taste of it. I said, they get that taste and then I could go back in the gully, it lick your head ten times harder. I'm not going to listen to me. Quote unquote, madman. You know, Jamaicans loosely use the word mad, madman. So that was a madman, we don't really say them mad. But those who don't understand me at all. You know, the homeless, even as a madman. The Jamaican madman is bulletproof. From your youth, I know a man when they say a madman from your youth, and I see them man they survive every disease, every pandemic, everything. Care lick him down, everything, and he's still alive, you know. I and mean, I never see them man they go on doctor visit you know? Jamaican madman. I don't know if it's because them rub up in a so much dirt and their body has become immune to every kind of German virus, no, no, but they like them indestructible. Right? Body can't mash up. Right? Some of them have all six pack abs. Right? And them now eating a great diet. Somebody have to go study the Jamaican madman. In Gully Bop. Right? Come out of the Gully. Fame fortune. Go back to the Gully. Seek out and dead. Obviously, I'm not saying he would have lived a hundred years. Oh man, so when time gully bop, go back to the gully the second time. When he got to the gully the second time, it was worse than the first. Because now he know what it feel like to see him. Now he know what it feel like for your people are screaming him. Now he know what it feel like for this girl are running down. The girl has said, Bap, me can't come back to your hotel room. Pop, you can't make. These are true stories. The girls are my trip and the bop. That make him head fast and now he can come back in the gully. I can call to a woman to go and say, hey, not, move on right so. You see a man with up on the stage and a man scream from before. Them thing they mash up man means. So mentally it was more taxing and stressing from back. The second time around. Would have been better off if he never get the fame at all. Fourth thing and the leading on from him just a while ago. Most of the DJ if you understand this. Because you say, well, the girl try to go back in the bop room. Right. And Gully Bop did that. Believe it or not. Woman a chew it on the bop. Or at least a try to chew it. When the DJ and you can understand, you say, when on the bus, most of the women they are chasing, you know, don't really like you. Know. You present hype, fame, fortune, clout, access. Bop a woman a screaming name at stage shows. A push for God in front of the stage. 
Every girl want to walk away from me. I'm going to draw him pants foot. See a man who them that skin up them nose off of. The month before the viral video drop. See him gully bop. Suddenly became handsome overnight. What you think they must suddenly think gully bop is the sexiest man alive now? When the DJ go learn a hard lesson alive. Especially when they were, 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 were hot now. Hmm. Feel on top of the world. See, this is why when my first come on them say, boy, you have to fight against artists too, artists to go here, girl. You know if you understand this. And I said this, right? I must say we have DJ who are you know. Right? It might not be a lot, but we have DJ who are But I just say this to most artists in general. I must talk to them, Mr. DJ, male DJs. The idea is that bad mind artists, girls, Woman, that make no sense because most DJ can't brag to me about woman. Because the vast majority of DJs only get woman, only get especially attractive woman after them boss. Even if then they get lucky one and two times, it was not consistent. And most DJ just look on the girl them where they used to talk to before them boss and look on the girl them and talk to after them boss. Take away the clout and they are invisible. To most women on the streets. When I try this no man, I tell you what it is. When you see people lie to you, know, guess you know, me I tell you what it is. You take away your clothes, take away your name and your fame and your money and your sang them. Stand up in a Spanish stone or anywhere else and no man will see you. And just look on them first, be your mother, before them boss. And look on the be your mother and then get after them boss. Completely different. But them tell themselves that they're sexy. Right? They know they know the sexiest men alive. Them start believing the hype. Unicorn me. Mr. Artist, me know say, if you walk up to them in a sablam or, or downtown mobile before your boss and skin up them face, laugh for you. And tell you say them of a man, even though they're single. Artists must realize this. Man artists realize this. What you represent. Make you attractive. Right? Make you what you look like. You could be an actual donkey. When your boss begin up, in the eyes of no woman, you're now sexy and you can't get the nigga like. But don't make you get to your head, bro. So when you not laugh off of, you know, the, the, the regular youth in the streets, uh, some boy can't gonna get out take with a certain boy again. I know you, bro. Right? That's what you represent. Trust me. Woman not really, right? I lost fooling like that. Right? There's very few artists out there. But woman genuinely right? would have lost suffer if them never boss. When I lie to them. So when woman are running on Golibap, we know say it was what Golibap represented. Them love the them love the, the, the story and them love the image of the you know the rags, the riches, and them love the that he represents this and that. But loving Golibap? They didn't love Golibap. They didn't care about Golibap. Leading on to the fifth thing. I mean, I almost learned. The music and entertainment industry as a whole is spread right across the board. Hollywood, all of them. Right? We don't know where Iron Man is. We could stick to dance now. Right? Including the fans, by the way, coming like vampire. Right? Except vampire suck out the blood. Right? The industry suck out the soul. It boosts up right, people to feel and sit back and watch them selfless truck. And then the people, including the fans, by the way, not even just the people in the industry, but even the fans, attack those who predict the self destruction of the artist and say, Leave him alone. You're bad, my name. Don't worry, I'm an artist. Me, I defend you. They're not defending you. Just like with the woman who scream for the artist, right, the fans, them. They love what you represent and the song the way you play them can, you know, when they listen to it, uh, they get this or that and that or that. But they're happy to watch you self-destruct. And if when you self-destruct them, say, why I'm fool you, man? Even though they were supporting uh, the destruction. So DJ, you there, come on with you. Skeng, that you clearly 
have a problem. I'm not talking about termite boy now. Clearly have a problem and clearly need some help. But they're happy for right, watching So up this stuff. Termite, talk to your boy. He needs some help. I know all the family said me to stick around for them. But the fans said, Leave him alone! They chop too much here, what man, the man? Even separate from the, the gang links, my talk in general, that boy needs some help. But for these artists, I work with like about Pop Mali and Pop Mali. Not only only need help, right, but when I put the forces in the youth them head, you not know, even the youth them want help. And who defends it the most? The industry and the so-called fans, because I understand that the fans them highly acidic to you. Know? Right. And they're not fans because I say, when you suck this job, all them do is just say, boy, I'm fully and jump on the next art artist. And it's broader than even music, even the social media now. It's like, somehow Iron Man keeps finding these mentally and physically ill people. Right? We use for cheap entertainment. It's like they can't wait to find right, the next person who clearly is not in their right mind. We throw in front of their camera and say, see it there? Right, perform for me. Do this for me. Ah, and get be a kicks. Right? They don't care about the person. Of course, the person is suddenly getting attention. So they think, oh, see, finally people are talking to me now. I know for them, they're glad to people that talk to them and they start to feel like, oh, people care and then one day they make a wake up call. No for them, people are depressed and suicidal. Because as soon as they find right, a next, more entertaining act, right, then the whole act get tossed aside in one corner, like a toy. Then time Pitney, you know, Pitney stay with toy, right, then ball for one toy. Daddy, me want this, daddy, me can't get this. When you finally say, all right, see the tire for your birthday. Right. Then play with the tire for like three weeks, and then you see the tire in one corner. Dust and cobweb on top of it. It's more entertaining come along. Gullibop was discarded as soon as the next best thing came around. Right. And so they said to them, you know, see the man want it. Left him alone. You chat too much. Right. You know, you see the man boss your fight. They're not defending the artist, they're protecting their comedic investment. That's what it is, it's a comedic investment. Right. Left him make him keep up this show. Left him make him not get no real help. Left him make him out there. Right. Thinking, say, right. he meets the promised land, knowing, say, in a three months time. Right. More crash and burn. They don't want it to end until they find the next one. Right. Do you know Bonus, we give them five already. How much we give them? Four or five? I didn't have bonus for that. Me saw always here, Granny said. Same people they pass on the way up, same people they pass on the way down. You don't have to be music. I know we are talking about going up on music and artists, but you don't have to be music. In life in general. This is a life lesson. Right? Not only young artists need to understand this. Right? It's when you're on a bus and have a hype, and you walk with the entourage, right? And you have 30 men in the crew. And you have 10, 87. And my luck, 5 gone. Right? And if a boy step to you, this team and to make when he, when he, when he talks, then just lick him in the face. You see all them people who know this, I want to feel high and mighty. Right? One day, the hype will go away. Right? And one day, 87 is going to take time to move around. The way they did that, I move on to our next quote and quote general. I see enough of them people who know this. Right? We'll never end up. Right. If you face them again, it's a long journey up and an even longer journey on the way back up. Hype and fame won't last. And when you realize that you are mortal, it will be too late. We have only need to relax in yourself. And we are not talk about back now, we are talking about you know, stars in general. We just wanted to learn from Gully Do you know why? Uh, even though we never see gully bopping on the streets, right? I walk around in 1087, so we don't talk about no badness that we talk about the rise and fall. No found an artist, no found a young artist, no we sound a hat. No found them, never do a gully bop do. No found them never close out the show them, but gully bop close out. We see gully bop close out some big show them time day. Gully bop was headline act. No found them cannot fool. Right? Mother's party, much less to full a club, much less 
for Fuller Stadium. Right. Now, Q1, we're in the streaming era and the, the, the TikTok era where song just grow on the place and it feels like it's a real, real big hit. But trust me, as a young artist, Mr. Artist, you're not as big as they think you are. You know, when time that is obvious, when time on the drop album, I want to see the album them. I want to try to this, I want to say no. Right. Number is not like. The truly smart one them divert in the other things because them says the music industry. It's a short term thing. And for the most part, it's an illusion. Only Papa close out show, big show. In the end, he died a lonely papa. All those screaming quote unquote fans, fellow artists, etc. vanish. There was somebody more hata to keep up with. Now the time for the bop. Golly Bop was a talented and charismatic brother. The story with a smile on your face. But at the same time, you know the smile was temporary. Because I don't know about you, but I knew how Golly Bop's story ended. And I saw it end. Rest in peace, Golly Bop, young man. What is man? Flesh and blood. Anyway, page and swell, you go up on yourself. Yeah, yeah, don't know. More life. Ultra squad. See you circling. Bless.